We're five minutes from Energylandia and we're in the middle of like a small town. Why is there a massive theme park around here? It's been a running trend yeah. the whole trip. That's like, how most of Europe is. It's yeah. Very straight. That's literally it right there. Sandra's literally right behind these trees. Move trees, move. Oh my gosh. Energy Landia, Energy Landia. <laughs> I cannot believe we're here. This is surreal. This is crazy. There's literally Hyperion right there. Look how massive this entrance that is. That is a very it's cool so entrance. Grand. Welcome to Energy Landia. We have no idea where to go, so we're going to the left. Looks like we got some signs. Hyperion is that way, which had a really long line because it's right at the front of the park. Uh, Speed the Ride is over here and I think an SPF Visa. The front of the park is a whole lot of just chaos. Guys, I think we're in Madagascar. Is this the magic school bus? What? This drink stand is in literal like Egyptian ruins. And there's also a pyramid randomly right there. Wow, shout out to El Toro Ryan who was at the actual pyramids yesterday. All right, so they have wait times. Some stuff is a walk-on, other stuff a little bit longer. So like, speed is 30 minutes, same with Formula and Zadra. First ride of the day, we're doing Formula. 30 minute line. This is definitely one of the uh, top thrill rides here at Energylandia. And look, it's Dragonfly at Dollywood, where we just did the first one of these a couple days ago at Far Up Summerland. That was Orcanon. There's a water ride right here and people are squirting the people in line. So Energylandia has lockers partway through the line here for Formula. So all you do is you get a wristband for a locker and you scan it right here and then it pops open a door. And I'm pretty sure it's the same system that we've seen at other parks where it's double sided and then you just get it as you exit. Yeah, Made it to the station of Formula. Now. Here's what it looks like. This is actually like really cool looking all the different stoplights and everything. Formula was short but punchy. Like, the, the, I honestly like great out a little bit at one of the moments. Like, the ejector hills were really fun. Uh, it was a great launch, and uh, overall, like, I thought it was really enjoyable. How was it, Matt? Yeah, that was. It was really quick, but it like 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 you said, it was punchy. The launch was good, and the air, and the airtime hills were pretty solid. I think light coaster is more intense. Oh yeah. It did gray out, I'd say in the first uh, in the first version after the launch. Right. Overall, I think it's a pretty good ride. How'd you like it? I liked it. It's cool. Enough said. All right. We made it to the back half of the park. There's Zadra over there. There's part of the Sweet Valley area in that mine train. Oh, this is under construction, so I guess that's where the entrance to Sweet Valley is going to be. It's unfortunately not ready yet, but that's okay. This is way more important anyways. This is pretty cool. It's like a whole medieval section. This is a lot nicer than uh, the front half of the park. Wouldn't you say? It's like almost like a completely different park. Yeah, literally. It's uh, it's like the theming. It's literally feel like you're in medieval time. It's weird. All right, Matt. So tell us why we're riding this before Zadra. It's because it's better. It's it better is. Than Zadra. Shut up, Adam. We're talking I about. We came all the way to Poland to ride this. No, no. What's the actual reason? Oh, I want to make. Uh, I want to have a certain coaster for my 200th. Which is. Zadja, Zadja, and how many do you need to get to 200? Ooh, okay. Oh, I am, I am uh, being a doozy, only for like a short amount of time, though, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Zadja's gonna be my 20th credit. Wow, 20 whole roller coasters. I'm very excited. For that. So proud of you. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Instead of having a grouper, they just have a counter for how many people fit on each train. So that it's for the number of seats, and then uh, you just know how many people can fit on the next train. That's awesome. Frida is the name of that ride, which is an interesting one. Uh, it is a family coaster, and it's purple. Look at this, we exited Frida, and we are greeted with the entrance to Zadra, and it's a 20 minute wait. Let's go. We've entered the queue for Zadra. From what we've heard, this is one of the longest queues ever. So, 
We'll see how long it takes to actually get on the ride. Man, this thing just keeps winding. About to go underneath the structure of the lift. We're still walking. They also made an announcement saying that there's gonna be a break in operation for a couple minutes. It sounds like there's something that they have to sort out, but that's kinda nice that they're telling people how long they're gonna be waiting, just saying, hey, it'll be a couple minutes more than you originally expected, and it's like, okay, yeah, that's fine. So they definitely just took a train off. Uh, I'm not sure if they have two or three trains. If they have a third, hopefully they can put a new one back on instead of just leaving it one train ops. Okay, now they're transferring the train back on, I think. Interesting. Yep, here it comes. Guys, they literally got the name of the ride wrong. Zadra Wooden Coaster uh, Hybrid. Thank you very much. Zadra has double-sided lockers too. Everything going in. And good thing they have quite a few of them because all those down there are completely full. So after we put our stuff in a locker, we've entered this kind of mess. So there's like four lanes that you can get in. And then there's doors right there that you pass through. We think that this one on the far left is for the front row. Uh, but we don't know what exactly these other ones are for. I assume just everything else. Thank you, I guess. What? <laughs> We just rode Zadra. I can't believe we just said that. It's really like, funny because it's been the name of my car for like a while now and I never ridden it until now. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that is a speed machine. That thing gives me uh, if you, I, I don't know why I always say this, but it's like two coasters made a baby. It's Fuel Vengeance and Iron Gwazi made a, a child and they made Zadra. It, it's a long ride, surprisingly, and That's it is, fun. it's intense, yeah. and uh, the elements are fantastic, um, it was forceful, it was whippy, like, no dead spots. That's that, why it reminds me of, of Iron Glossy. Yeah. That's the part that reminds me of Iron Glossy, and the length, and like the little airtime hills, yeah. you get me uh, so Matt, how is that for a milestone? That was... Awesome. I think that's better than Iron Gwazi. It's a little really? bit longer than Iron Gwazi. Because although Iron Gwazi is fantastic, I think it's a little bit too short, but this was just the perfect length and it's relentless. There's okay. Like no dead spot throughout. This is fantastic. Wow. Adam, what'd you think? It's not just good, it's like really good. <laughs> that's all. Alright, well. I think we're gonna go try out some other rides, but we are definitely coming back here. We literally could smell the chicken from this place on Zadra, so I think we're gonna eat here. In case anyone was curious, this is a Pepsi park and they have Mountain Dew, but it's not Mountain Dew like in the US. This one kinda sucks. All right, so all of this that you're looking at was $28, and there's four of us, so that's $7 a person. Wow, it's Bucky. I also am repping Bucky's at Energylandia. Jeez, Zadra's huge. Look at this freaking thing. That's wild looking. We've made it to the far reaches of the park and we're about to enter Aqualantis. Look at this, there's a bow ride that goes underneath this family Vacoma boomerang. It's actually awesome. I'm really excited to check out this like Aqualantis area. Now this is an entrance sign. Look at this. We're entering Abyssus through the Batwing. This is pretty cool. I'm so excited to do this ride. I've been wanting to do this thing for so long. Even if it's not the latest and greatest, it just visually looks so cool. I was following along with this construction. What? You get right next to the LSM. Uh, that's pretty cool too. I like how the ride goes in and out of trenches and even some of the support columns are given this kind of column feel. go back row on abyssus all right so we just got off of the back row of abyssus and the first half is a warm up yeah for us. it's very tame I didn't, I don't think I was like super impressed until after the uh, the drop after the second launch. Yeah, I, after that it pumps 
SMG. I, but, I grayed out a couple yeah. times during uh, the second half. Yeah, uh, but even the second launch, I was like not like overly impressed with. Yeah, but it, I mean, it was pretty fun. It, it's a long ride, which yeah, is Yeah, it is a long ride, but I definitely didn't like it as much as I thought. I... Yeah, all right, so guys, you literally just got off the front row. What do you think? I liked that. I thought that was pretty fun. I think it was like a less intense version of Light Coaster, but with a launch. That was, that was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I grayed out like once or twice, so I was surprised. Yeah. I didn't think I would, but that was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that a lot. That yeah, fun. and Adam? It was fun. You are the worst. Give more it's really substance. It's really good you it was really? fun, I liked it, I'm gonna ride it again. I don't know what more you want. <laughs> Yo, we're just trying to ride Abyssus again and they're about to do this diving show like in the water right here in front of the coaster. What the heck? Great. Round two on Abyssus, doing the front. These trains are really cute, the fact that they look like, like actually like boats. Yeah. I actually think I liked it better. What'd you think? I think so, yeah. I think my thing is that I didn't feel like some of the elements don't like hit. Like they're not as like snappy. Okay. As I think I wish. It's like we just did Left Coaster and I feel like that throws you a bit more. So what do you think? Do you like this or Phoenix better or Phoenix better? Um, I'm leaning towards Phoenix, but I think I agree I, with you. Honestly, I put them pretty close to each other. Okay. Stitch sighting. All right, what do you guys think? Should I buy this for Taylor and make him wear it? I don't know how I'd make him wear it, but I think it'd be pretty dang funny to see him in this. The queue for Light Explorers just has all of these random themed heads. I guess you're walking along, entering this rock work here. Only a 10 minute wait for this one of two Vacoma family boomerangs. Here in the queue, you can get a good view of the mine train that's gonna open as part of the Sweet Valley area. It's actually a pretty long ride. What you're seeing here is not a dueling mine train. That's just two lift hills of the same ride. So when Sweet Valley opens, this will lead back towards the front of the park and complete this little loop in the back section. But because it's not open right now, this is a dead end. So we have to go back the way we came towards Zadra. All right, the temperature seriously dropped. So we're gonna try our luck at Zadra before it inevitably starts storming, which will be interesting. The other guys went to try and make a run for Hyperion, but because that's all the way in the back of the park, I'm skeptical they'll be able to make it. I'm skeptical we'll even be able to make it. I want to know when on earth Energy Landing will actually need to use the full duration of this queue. This whole door opening system is very weird. It's like each line splits off and then it's like a free for all. Just pick your row. We just rode Zadra in the freaking rain. <laughs> That was so painful. I got off and I'm like, now I see why you can't ride King Kai if there's a singular drop of rain. Yeah. That hurts. It, it's not like <laughs> pouring, but it, like it's needles hitting yeah, your skin. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not pouring, but like it, it, the speed that Zadra goes is no joke. Yeah. It is no joke. And when it's even drizzling, it like, I wanted the goggles that they make everyone wear in the front yeah. row for every oh, row. Oh, yeah. That would, see, that would have been, <laughs> if you're in the front row and you have the stupid goggles on, that probably would have been actually enjoyable. But, <laughs> exactly. But everyone else is like, ah, like I was like covering my eyes half the time. Yeah, like, I don't even know what happened. It's pouring as we're leaving, Zadra. The walk backwards, that's as long as the walk here. Why can't they just drop us off on a pathway? Well, since it's raining, we're just hiding out in the Energy Landia Zadra gift shop. And you know, if you're looking for anything other than t-shirts, they actually got really good merch here. This is a thousand piece puzzle of Abyssus, Hyperion, and Zadra. That is actually kind of awesome. really, really cool. Pens, I think these are stress balls or something like that. It's a hacky sack. All right, well, who's this guy? Here's something I've never seen in a theme park. You can literally buy cigarettes in the Zadra gift shop. What the heck? They are still running Zadra, even though it is raining pretty decently hard. All right, we're gonna head to the front of the park, try and knock out Hyperion just on the off chance they decide to close some rides. And the temperature definitely dropped. It is like actually chilly I out. I think I'm gonna go buy a sweatshirt that I don't really like just to be warm. <laughs> I, I don't blame you, yeah. Weather forecast is saying that it's gonna keep raining for the rest of the day, so looks like uh, we're gonna get some rain rides today. Look, we're back in like a medieval village. Except now we're in the front half of the park. There's roller coasters everywhere you look around here. It's crazy. The thing is that many of them are not good. 
but they are there. It's a roller coaster, roller coaster, you know? Yeah, exactly. So for your credit counting purposes, it's a field day. And also, I think we went to a dead end. Uh, wait, no, nope. Just kidding. It continues down that way. Oh, I think. Found the other uh, Vacoma family boomerang, and they're playing the song again. <laughs> I don't know Polish. The walk flume? I'm not riding right, the walk flume. Walk flume! We did have Karen in the rain and it hurt. And they made us wear goggles, but I kind of liked it. It was really fun. Dude, where'd you ride? Uh, front row. And? It was awesome. Not as uh, rattly as I thought it was. I was actually really smooth. Wow. The time was awesome. I loved it. Was it your, did you like it more than Zadra? Uh, no comment. For right now. Okay. This is like the smallest freaking log flume boat. Ever. Sarah's behind me massaging my shoulders. It is very nice. Look, Look how that. big this lift is. <laughs> what? Oh no. No, Matt, no. Matt! Ah! No. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> that was like 10 feet. How did you even get that wet? What? Uh, I'm so wet. It's raining. You were gonna be wet anyway. Wait, what? What is this? No! Wait! What the heck happened? Is this a spiral what? drop? Wait! No, we're going too fast! Whoa! Oh. That was awesome. I really like that. We've made it to Hyperion, and our first ride is gonna be a rain ride. Not how we wanted it, but it's how it is, so whatever. Here we go. Hyperion, sponsored by Game Expert, because like half the coasters here have sponsorships. The queue is kind of space themed. Look, it's a ship. I really like this lighting. This is really cool. All the rides here have really long queues. This is so unnecessary. Now we're outside and we're about to go down. We literally just went up. This is so dumb. We're still going down. Why did we go up just to go down and there's no line for anything? All right, we made it. That was more infuriating than Zadra's queue. Ooh, look at this. Okay. Alright, so we just rode back row of Hyperion for the first time in the rain, not as painful as Zadra though. Uh, but that was great. That was really fun. That was freaking insane. Insane. I'd say it's a more tamed version of Sky Rush and a little bit longer. That first okay. drop is like almost as like insane as Sky, as Sky Rush's first drop. It was awesome. I would like to ride it like without the rain because I can't tell if I was like really hard graying out or just like had water drops like all over my eyeballs. Right? Yeah. But that first drop is one of the best first drops like ever. It was it fantastic. Slow down it at the top at all. Yeah. I also really like the almost like it's almost like a dive loop, but yeah. uh, there to turn around like and then, like the dive loop. the second half oh, of the ride stays very, very low to the ground, yeah. uh, which is like very yeah. different. Like was, I feel like that was giving me Sky Rush meets I three hundred five vibes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, do you want to go again? I kind of want to go again. We should go again. We should go again. Yeah. And we're back. Round three. I love this ride. This park is such a weird mishmash of stuff. Like, what is this and that? All right, Adam and I are doing this ride. <laughs> what? Wow, look at this. It's like an old school wacky shack, but it feels a bit more modern. Look at this guy, what? It's pretty atmospheric. It's kind of cool, actually. Uh, it definitely is like a mishmash of everything. I was expecting animatronics, but literally nothing here moves. Why do you have a whole train? What? Wait, so they were all individual and then the others just caught up and now they all pushed each other in a line? Even for this Dragonflyer clone, the queue is so long. So something they do at every single ride here is they only fill the station with the next train and then they have the counters that we were talking about earlier outside with a turnstile to let you through. Look, there's a station fly ride! Oh, what the? Oh, I didn't know that. Hi. Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, let me tell you though, that rain cleared this place out. These paths were packed earlier, and now there's like no one here.
Last ride of the night on Zadra. How was it, Adam? It was good. It was really good. Yeah? Extra really good. Extra really good. Wow. I really like it. It's big, it's fast, and there's a lot of air time. That's the most details you've given for anything so far. It's really flying uh, right now, which is awesome. Uh, each element really delivers. The only thing is that it is definitely not as much of an airtime focused experience. Um, the drop has a good airtime. The first yeah. airtime hill does. The double down, not so much. Honestly, that that part was a little disappointing. Hey, look, it's actually starting to get dark as we walk out of Energylandia. Thank God, I can finally get night rides on the car ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought this part couldn't get weirder, there's literally a black cat crossing the coaster. Dude, where are you going? You can't enter that line. The park's closed. Go home. No freaking way. There's straight up another cat right here. There's literally bowls out for him. What? Hi. Oh my gosh, look at this kitty. Once again, fitting with the theme that the front half of this place is just very, very weird. Yo, back again with the Madagascar stuff. Are these freaking the penguins? Like Kowalski? Private skipper, is that you? Like, what is this? So what do you think of this place? It's cool, it's really big, and it's a lot of walking, but I got my walking shoes on today. Hey, hey, uh, good, so good. I'm balling with the park. Okay. I rode almost every credit today, which in translation is probably about like seven coasters. <laughs> like half of them. <laughs> we got a like lot more to do tomorrow, yeah. which is fine, honestly. Yeah, you know, we got I to really do a lot of different stuff. experiences and there's still cool stuff to do, so. I want to ride Hyperion more. I want to ride Zadra. I want to ride Abyssus. I want all the SBF credits. Um, <laughs> so my coaster count will go down to like 17. That's like my goal at the end. Of so the you, you're actually going to lose credits. Yeah, every time I get a coaster, like I go down one. Because I, <laughs> my credit count was getting too high. <laughs> so you're reversing. <laughs> it's like yeah. for every good one you ride, you ride a bad one and it goes down. Exactly, yeah. Is this not one of the weirdest parks ever? It is um, very unique. Yeah. It has like a mixture of being like a parking lot filled with like carnival rides. carnival rides and then like very heavily themed roller coasters and then they have like the same roller coaster in a different part of the park that's like not themed and I'm like this is very odd. Yeah <sighs> this is a strange park it's a mishmash like you can tell stuff is old and stuff is new and I hope that one day they go back and readdress some stuff in the front half of the yeah. park because it's kind of a mess honestly. Yeah it, it just it feels very like dis Jointed. Yes. Um, chaotic. It is definitely a little chaotic and like they have some like amazing rides here and like some of them are like very well themed. But they also got a lot of like but it, junk. Yeah, like, it's a lot of junk and it just feels like it's like throwing it in for the sake of just like oh we have so many roller coasters. Yeah it's like how many rides can we put in this park? Like it's like we can just put in like multiple of the same ride and it's fine because there are different parts of the park and no one's gonna care or notice but it's like. Which to be fair maybe people don't. I don't know. It, yeah it might just be because we know what we're looking at, it, it could be like that, but I don't know. I would rather them have less rides and get more stuff like Hyperion or Zadra instead of doing like multiple family boomerangs or multiple roller skaters or multiple wacky worms or you know what I mean? Like, But they're expanding rapidly and it seems like all the new stuff they've been putting in is, is good. They're heading in the right direction, which yeah. I can appreciate. Yeah, once again, fitting in with the theme that this place is kind of weird, <laughs> but it's fun. It, it definitely, uh, Creates a lot of memories here, that's for sure. Our chariot has arrived. Wait, no, 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 their chariot's leaving. Ah, oh, crap, dang it. Now we gotta move. All right, now our chariot has arrived. The trolley dropped us off in the middle of freaking nowhere, so we're trying to figure out where we parked because all we have to base our location off of is Hyperion over here. Anyone see our car? Found the car. It's way down here. We literally had to walk like the entire length of the park. Like literally there's Zadra that we're like almost parallel with. They dropped us off way down there. We got back from Energylandia so late that everything else was closed, so McDonald's it is. Not what we wanted, but it's what we got. Maestro Grand Classic and Maestro Bacon and Cheddar. What does that even mean? This is what a long day of Energylandia looks like. We're all just sitting in silence, eating our McDonald's. <laughs> you good, bro? Yeah. Someone's had a long day at Energylandia. <laughs> Stop! I hate you. <laughs> Wearing the Hyperion shirt too. I think that does it for today. All right, we're gonna go to bed. But tomorrow we'll be back at Energylandia. We'll see you guys then. Stay tuned for that video. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>